it may be the final chance to bring the justice that PC Yvonne Fletcher deserves. Today, that long walk to it arrived at the High Court. John Murray, along with many of Ms Fletcher's former colleagues, has brought a civil claim against the man alleged to have orchestrated the shootings. It means for three days, the details of that day in 1984 will be scrutinised. And for the first time, Mr Murray will recount what happened in a court. I can never forget the events of that day. I mean, when Yvonne was shot and I was with her in the ambulance and um, she was dying, she was dying in my arms. And the last words she heard were mine. Uh, and, you know, I promised her I would, I would bring someone to justice for her murder. This was him in that fateful moment just after the attack. An hour or so earlier, outside the Libyan embassy in London, the demonstration by opponents of Colonel Gaddafi started. Helping to marshal the crowds, seen here, PC Fletcher. But moments later, that peaceful protest was disrupted. A gunman from inside the embassy shot her and injured 10 others. Salah Ibrahim Mabrouk, a senior aide to the former Libyan leader, is accused of being at the heart of that plot. He has always denied wrongdoing. He was arrested in 2015 for conspiracy to murder. But two years later, charges couldn't be brought because crucial evidence couldn't be made available for reasons of national security. A dossier from Scotland Yard containing hundreds of pages of evidence forms the basis of this civil trial. Ultimately, the judge could end up making a recommendation to the Crown Prosecution Service to review the criminal case against Mr Mabrouk. The next three days in the High Court uh, are crucial, uh, but now we've got the evidence, uh, we've got the full evidence to present to the court, and it's up to the judge to decide at the end of the day, and I will respect that decision, whatever it may be. Mr Mabrouk is not participating in the proceedings, but today stressed in a letter that when PC Fletcher was killed, he wasn't present. Julian Drucker, 5 News.